Hey guys, I'm back. So today I want to talk about celebrating, celebrating yourself, celebrating your blackness. So I'm going to be talking to, um, this match will be, will make sense maybe, and maybe to other people. It will make most sense to darker skin tone people, so black people. And um, yeah, so to begin, uh, I think when you are of a darker skin tone, you always get that message that light, light is right. Um, you, are you are bombarded with, with lightning soap. And you know, uh, when I was young, because uh, it starts young, right? When I was young, I had people making fun of me because I, because I was, I was black. Because I, at one point, I went to an all-white school. Uh, the first one was a French school. Uh, so uh, I remember when I was when I was. I think yeah, I was young and and people would say, "Oh, oh, oh les noirs ne sont pas très beaux. Les noirs sont si." So basically, they would say, "Black people are not very good, very good looking," and it starts young. You know, it really starts young, and it really, I kind of for some reason I assimilated the the message because when I would turn on television I would always see you know light-skinned people or white people you know uh, being shown on television so I wanted to be like that I wanted to have um, to have light skin and when I heard about lightning soap I of course I never went there but I remember just saying oh Maybe that could help me out, you know? I was tempted. I was really tempted. But luckily I was young and I didn't have the money and I couldn't buy lightning soap. And thank God I had parents who who were against lightning soap. And are still against lightning soap. So so basically it would affect me in for example, when I was younger, I I would love I just I draw I would draw women, I drew women, and uh, because when I was young I wanted to be a girl like, like I in my mind I I told myself I am a girl I, but that's my reality that's when I was young right, I, I I wanted to be a girl I needed to be a girl I would want to wear lipstick, I I would look at my mom's high heels and I I would wear them. And I would make sure nobody <laughs> would see me. I would like when my parents would be, you know, eating or with my brothers and sisters, and or just they would be in the garden. I would run into my parents' room and I'd look at my mom's high heels and I would put them on, and I would walk. I would walk because I wanted to be a girl, right? And so basically, I would draw. I would I would draw women and I would draw them in a way that they had. All of them. So all of my all the women I draw would have long flowy hair, and when there was the wind, the hair would go into the wind, and I get that image because you know, for example, I turn on the television and you see a girl, a woman with her with her husband or a boyfriend driving, and then both of them there was like you know the wind through their hair and just like flew back, and. I saw that to be beautiful and I would look at my hair and I would look at my skin tone and I would be, why can't I just look like that, you know? And um, again, as I say, when you're young, you get these messages and people tell you that you're not good looking, it's lightning soap. and sometimes you believe it at a certain point where you've heard that message a lot you kind of believe it it's kind of um maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong but i did take sociology classes it's kind of a self-fulfillment prophecy where i don't know if it's the right the right word but you accept what is being told and i accepted the fact that i wasn't very good looking due to my dark skin tone due to my hair my kinky hair my lips and and it really really affects you but I think now that I'm kind of becoming an adult and I'm growing up and I'm 
more aware of, you know, of the images, what people say. I think I've learned to celebrate myself, celebrate my black beauty, celebrate the beauty that we don't see often on television or um, that we make fun of, right? And I've come to the point where I've just, where I just start to, to people, celebrate yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and celebrate yourself. Celebrate your blackness. You are beautiful and it's not a new message. It's a message that's been going around for a long time. But if you happen to stumble upon my video, my vlog, I will say it again. Celebrate your beauty. Be proud of being black. Be proud of having dark skin. If you are from India and you have dark skin tone, be proud of that. Um, don't let uh, your eccentric beauty standard be the norm in your mind, okay? So, yeah, so basically we, uh, I have another channel called The, the New Power Paradigm and we, we do talk about your eccentric beauty standard. And, uh, okay, so I guess this is it. This is my vlog for, for the day. And... Um, Thank you for watching, and if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, okay, guys, so bye, peace. <laughs>